What's up guys, Jimmy, come you guys with another video. Before we get into the video, as always, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And when you guys hit subscribe, please make sure you guys are hitting the notification button. So getting right into the video, this is gonna be a thrift haul on basically all the things I've picked up over the course, I guess, of two weeks to three weeks, um, just from the thrift shops, from various thrift shops. I do have um, an associated trip to the thrift with this video so make sure you guys go check that out that seems to be basically everyone's favorite right like either whether it's like frugal streetwear or trips to the thrift you guys seem to be really loving those so i'm gonna make sure to bring out that content for you guys but with this video i picked up a couple of various items that you guys probably saw already in that video you know i'm not too sure whether i'm gonna post this first or that first i'll probably end up doing that first just so you guys can see it by sequence right like me picking up the items and then me going a little bit more in depth into what i picked up so essentially now that I think about it, if you guys haven't already, please go make sure you guys go check out the latest trip to the thrift. I found a pretty good amount of decent items and getting right to it because I do have a couple of items to show you guys. The first thing I picked up is a pair of brown pants from Goodwill. So these, I thought they fit me a little bit better when I saw them at the store right, with COVID and everything. Dressing rooms are closed, so you can't try on clothes. And typically, right, it's kind of gross to try on thrifted clothes and even then pants because, you know, you don't know where they've been but essentially i picked up this brown pair of levi pants and the one thing i'll say there's no other levi branding on this pair of pants besides the little black tag right here and on the button it says levi stratus other than that it doesn't have the iconic v going down the pocket there's nothing right here so part of me wants to say that these might be fake levi's i'm honestly not too sure like there's no sizing tag on them either but where they were at was 32 so um, it was 32 by 32. So I assume this pair of pants was also 32, even though there wasn't a sizing tag on there. And typically I'll say for myself, I wear a size 30, but I've been trying to find a pair of brown pants for a while so I can get them altered, tapered, you know, just so they could fit me properly. And I figured, you know, 32 isn't too bad, but I'll show you guys. I'm basically also planning to do this video where I find a thrifted pair of pants and I bring them to the altars, you know, get them to fit me basically perfectly and show you guys the price breakdown. But you guys will see me try on these pants in that video and see how big they are. I'll say they don't look absolutely too terrible. Like I imagine if I was a taller guy, like if I was like six foot and up, you know, that style wouldn't look too bad. But as someone that is like basically only five, six, you know, with shoes on, this looks a little bit bad on me. You know, like I'm not trying to look even shorter than I already am, but I got these from Goodwill. They are a blue tag and they were listed for $7.49. And on the tag, it says size 32, which is why I thought I could fit them. But like I said, there's no sizing tag on them. So maybe they were mistagged, but they were listed for $7.49, which is low key kind of pricey for a pair of thrifted pants, right? Especially ones that don't even fit you. But luckily enough, when I checked out, these were half off that day. So total for these ended up only being like $4.50, something like that. So pretty cheap. I'm hoping, you know, I can get these tailor altered for an extra 15 to 20 bucks, show you guys everything. So right, so for $4 for the pants, $15 for the alterations, for $20, you basically have a perfect pair of pants because, right, like, yeah, you guys could say I could go find a pair of pants for $20 to $30 that probably already have a decent fit, right? But at the end of the day, I'm gonna wanna get those pants tailored and altered just so they fit me exactly. So this was the first of my pickups. I actually didn't bring you guys along when I went to the thrift for this pickup. So this was just like a separate time of me just going to Goodwill and then just going on my own leisure time. So the first item is a brown pair of Levi's for $4. The next item I have for you guys is another pair of brown pants. This time, this material is more of like a fabric. I'm pretty sure these were like work clothes or something like that because they have like this little tag right here where i'm not too sure what this is but you can't even really peel it off it looks like pac 3049 i don't know if that was like maybe like the worker identification or if they were like dry cleaning tags i'm not too sure but these were made in the usa so i'm guessing they're pretty old like i don't think they're like super vintage or super rare or anything like that but they do seem to have like a i guess like an older build to the pants like they don't feel super new or anything like that but i got this pair of pants for 25 cents at the 25 cent thrift so i went on a friday and all the clothes were 25 cents so when i saw this i was like you know why not pick up the brand it says on the tag right here is angelica you know like i'm pretty sure these were not made for street or anything like that as you guys can see they have a pretty big bottom opening um so this might also have to be a pair of pants that get altered i think the waist will fit fine but i think the bottoms might be a little bit iffy i haven't tried them on yet actually 
because I need to get them washed before I put them on. But you know, I'm excited to see how these pants will fit. Like I, you know, you guys saw my last thing I picked up. Been wanting brown pants, just more brown clothes, right? Like that's kind of the trendy thing right now. But I'm wanting to find everything thrifted. But yeah, like I mentioned, got these pants for 25 cents, so can't complain, you know. Even if they don't fit, 25 cents is basically nothing. I'll go back and donate these to Goodwill and maybe someone else will find a good use for them. And then the next pair of pants I have for you guys. So I picked up a lot of pants and I typically never pick up pants, but the next pair of pants I picked up is actually a pair of Carhartt camo, like carpenter work pants. So it has all the pockets on the side. You guys can see right here, basically for you to put your tools. Um, they're basically like a straight leg. I wouldn't say they're boot cut, but they're definitely a little bit wider as you, as you guys can see. And the camo on here is a real tree camo it has it all basically all over the pair of pants and i unfortunately don't think i would fit these these are a 14 boys so you know probably most likely not gonna fit them i thought i could but gonna hand these over to my girlfriend and i think they will fit her pretty nicely you know like with this it's a little bit interesting right because you could go two ways with this outfit you know there's a bunch of like really i don't want to say more country people i think is a better word i was going to use another term that i don't think is the nicest term to use but you know this could be worn to go hunting but i've seen a lot of people pull off camel recently and you know i think it's definitely a vibe but you guys can see the brown leather car her patch right here really clean these pants are essentially brand new i'm pretty sure like the boy grew out of them and then just didn't fit them anymore so i got these also from the 25 cent thrift and these are actually one of their more i guess high-end items and by high-end what i mean by that is on friday it's not 25 cents it goes based off this price tag right here so and like i said i caught this on friday as well so i should have paid five dollars for it but when i checked out he only charged me 25 cents for these pants so i mean major come up right 25 cents for a pair of carhartt camo pants that i think will fit my girlfriend pretty well and i mean i imagine her wearing these with her mochas with her other shoes and i think it would look pretty fire and the last pair of pants i have for you guys is a pair of regular degular shout out to keezy tv but i got these regular degular ass pair of levi 550s so these are pretty standard fit levi's there's nothing crazy about them and i got these at the goodwill bins um you know i got these in the last trip to the thrift you guys are probably wondering why did you even pick those up right those are just some regular ass Levi's and I thought so too right I don't know why I decided to look a little bit deeper into these Levi's but when I looked at the tag you guys can see right here it's like a really small tag it's not like your typical Levi's tag that you see that right there is the only tag that is on these pair of pants it says made in USA so when I saw made in USA I was like okay that's not pretty typical for Levi's right like there had to be a point in time where they were made in USA but I know all the Levi's I got when I was in high school till now you know none of them have ever been made in USA so I did some research and if you guys know anything about Levi's, the last U.S. plant to produce Levi's closed down in 2002 in San Francisco. So, I mean, these jeans have to be at least 20 years old, if not older. I mean, that tag right there is pretty minimal. I couldn't find too much information on this tag right here. But, you know, if you guys can look at the wash, look at this tag right here and let me know how old this pair of jeans is, I'd really appreciate it. But I got these at the bin, so it was all weighed out. And the total for this and the next item i'm going to show you guys which is like a crew neck sweater was like five dollars or something like that so a little bit more than i wanted to pay but i'll say these jeans actually do fit me they are my size they are a size 31 waist and length is 30 so that's actually perfect for me um actually perfect for me would be 30 30 but you know i'm not going to complain over that 31 30 so i'll probably keep these washies i don't know if i'll change anything to the wash but i'll probably chop them at the bottom because even though that is kind of like a perfect fit they might be a little bit long and like i said just a regular regular pair of levi's nothing too crazy on them like they do feel pretty new like there was no stench to them I don't know, like I'm guessing someone just was cleaning out their closet, had these jeans they never wore and decided to donate them. So the last pair of pants is a pair of Levi 550s, um, probably from 1995 to 2000 potentially. And then moving to the uppers, I have three items to show you guys. The first piece is this Michael Jackson t-shirt. You guys can see it is Michael Jackson's face and at the top it says, this is it. And at the very bottom has his signature, Michael Jackson right there. This is a shirt from 2009. So nothing super vintage, it is a double stitch t-shirt, but I'll say the t-shirt is brand new. I honestly don't think it's ever been washed. I'm guessing maybe someone went to go see Michael Jackson on tour 
store or you know wherever they got this shirt and then you know just threw it in their closet and never wore it but it is an all style tag so definitely an older style t-shirt not an older style t-shirt but you know definitely not a shirt from like 2012 and up so got this shirt from goodwill for 179 plus tax at first i was going to pass on the shirt because i was like eh, it's not necessarily super vintage or anything like that but you know after feeling the shirt you know like it is brand new like i said i mean for a dollar 79 who can complain and you know the print is still really good on this shirt and i'm pretty sure someone's gonna want this shirt i'll be able to trade it somewhere so not too bad of a shirt if you're a big michael jackson fan i myself right i didn't grow up with michael jackson i understand he was like this huge pop icon but you know just without me not growing up listening to him like i don't have the same appreciation for the shirt as someone who else that grew up with him did and the next shirt i have for you guys is this gray long sleeve that i got from the 25 cent thrift so this right here was 25 cents and it's nothing crazy it's printed on i'm not even sure what type of tag this is but it says case authentic so i don't think it's super vintage or anything like that but for 25 cents everything on this shirt is embroidered so i thought that was a pretty cool little touch of detail but it is jeff gordon 24 hendrick motorsports dew point motorsports and at the so on the right sleeve it has nascar right there also embroidered and on the right i'm not too sure what that is right there i'm guessing it's hendrix motorsports maybe nothing too crazy about this shirt i'm not too sure if this shirt would even sell or anything like that it is a size medium so worst case scenario i can wear this i don't know like i don't know how often i'd really wear this shirt but if you guys are interested in it let me know i'll let it go for a pretty good price um nothing too crazy got this for 25 cents you know was gonna pass on it but you know when things are 25 cents it's just so hard to pass up on decent items and you know it's like why not right it's only 25 cents and the last item from this haul that i have for you guys is this kind of like sail cream crew neck sweater um typically right whenever i go to the bins so i got this at the bins along with the jeans so this and the jeans was five dollars so this was probably like maybe like a dollar fifty something like that if those jeans are probably like three bucks four bucks but i typically never pick up white or sale cream items from the bins because typically the ones i have came across have always been super dirty but this right here is actually not too dirty at all you guys can see it is a hanes premium weight sweater it is a size xl but you know back then everything fits super boxy so super boxy and super wide so i don't know if this would necessarily fit me i mean you guys can see that it's huge right there on me but i think the length is not too bad and then the sleeves look fine as well so it might have a cool little fit to it um how i pictured wearing this was this those jeans you know cut them off at the bottom and wear them with some birkenstock bossons i think it'd be a chill little fit but nothing too crazy about this it's just like this vintage hanes cream crew neck i mean for a dollar you know if i can't fit it i'll sell it for pretty cheap as well so if you guys are interested in this let me know you know you guys can dm me on youtube or on instagram i'll let it go for the low but pretty solid pickups you know nothing about this smells too crazy either that's the one thing like the last time i went to the bins for some reason there was like this crazy stench in every bins and it was just like almost so hard to dig through all that stuff but this right here, pretty new. I'm gonna give it a wash. Everything a wash, basically. Try it on, see what I can fit. And if I can't fit it, you know, like just message me if you guys are interested or, you know, I'll probably try to sell it to some consignment shop or something like that. So that was everything from the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed those little items that I showed you guys. You know, like I said, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go check out that trip to the thrift. I realize like those videos are a little bit more, you guys are coming along with me on the process of finding all these items. I know this is just more so the end result where you guys see all the items I picked up, but I figure both are a little bit nice, right? You guys get to see the process and then hear me talk about each of the pieces a little bit more deeper. So let me know down below in the comments, what was your favorite item that I picked up for myself? I'll say I really dig those Levi's, even though there's just some plain jeans. I think that was a pretty cool find. And I think it opened a door to me that I never knew before. Like I knew there was vintage Levi's, but you just see so many Levi's at the thrift that I almost don't even know what to look for. But now that I do have some idea of what to look out for, I think Levi, vintage Levi's at that, matter or something that i'm going to be looking out for more and it's going to wrap up the video and until next time i'll catch you guys later peace